Hi guys, let's make an easy garlicky smashed cucumber salad that's perfect for summertime. The first thing we're going to do is make the chili oil to go with the salad. It's going to be a component of the sauce we're making later. Mince some garlic. Transfer the garlic to a bowl. We're going to pour hot oil into it, so you don't want to use a bowl that can crack in the heat. I'm using a ceramic bowl, but you can add these spices to a saucepan to be safe. Next, mince some ginger. Add some chili flakes. These should be a bit spicy. Then add salt. I'm also adding kochukaru, Korean red pepper flakes, because I love its flavor and the beautiful red color it gives the chili oil. Heat some vegetable oil on medium-high heat for 2-3 to three minutes until the oil reaches about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want the oil to be much hotter because the pepper flakes will burn. Very carefully pour the hot oil over the spices. Let the oil sit for at least 30 minutes to infuse the oil with the spices. Moving on to the cucumbers, you'll need about one to one and a quarter pounds of Japanese cucumbers. I like this variety because the seeds are tender and I like its subtly sweet flavor. You can also use Persian cucumbers. Slice off the ends. Some Japanese cucumbers can be pretty thick, so they're difficult to smack whole. That's why I like to slice them in half. Use the side of your knife to smash the cucumber. Smashing the cucumber gives the pieces texture so that they can pick up more sauce. Then slice the cucumber diagonally. I also like to break up the slices in half. Persian cucumbers are more tender than Japanese cucumbers, so I don't bother slicing them in half before smashing them. Transfer the cucumber pieces into a bowl. Sprinkle a pinch of salt and toss everything together. Let the cucumbers sit for 20 minutes to allow the salt to draw out excess moisture. After the resting period, you'll notice quite a bit of water at the bottom of the bowl. Drain the water. If you don't salt the cucumbers beforehand, you'll notice a lot of liquid sitting at the bottom of the salad after a while. It's not the end of the world. I actually like using that liquid to flavor cooked rice. Now we need to finish the sauce for the cucumber salad. Using a microplane zester, zest a few more cloves of garlic. You'll get to a point where it's difficult for you to zest the end of the clove without accidentally zesting your finger. Just stop right there and save the end bits for a stir fry. Transfer the zested garlic to a bowl. To mellow out the raw bite of the garlic, I like to mix it with rice vinegar and let that sit for 10 minutes or so. Finish making the sauce by mixing the garlic and vinegar with the other ingredients for the sauce. Add soy sauce, a few tablespoons of the chili oil we just made along with the bits of pepper and herbs, sugar, and sesame oil. You will have leftover chili oil. You can toss it with noodles or use it to flavor dumplings. Try to use it within a week. Pour the sauce all over the cucumbers and toss together. Transfer the salad to a serving bowl. Garnish with toasted sesame seeds. This cucumber salad is so easy to make and it's delicious. And that's it! I love the garlickiness. 
of this salad. Garlickiness, I don't know if that's a word, but it, it's super garlicky and it's delicious. The rice vinegar also provides the right amount of tang for me uh, for this recipe. It's not too overpowering, but it just adds a little bit of bright tangy flavor. One additional tip I wanted to share, if you are making this cucumber salad and you're not planning to serve it for a few hours, then I recommend that you keep the smacked cucumber and the sauce separate and refrigerate them. Then a few minutes before you are ready to serve the salad, toss everything together. This will ensure that the cucumbers won't be too soggy when you are serving the salad. All right, if you want to get the printable recipe, you can visit my blog. I link to the recipe in the description below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, until next time, bye guys.